Hi there, so I've made it down to Newlyn in Cornwall today. It's a pretty decent day. It's quite a lot of sunshine. It's a strong northerly wind, but quite sheltered here out of the wind, which is good. Basically, I've come down here today because I want to try and get some long exposures. I'll be using the Mamiya RZ67, and the film I'm using is Ilford HP5. That's a 400 speed film. I've also got with me my Lee Big Stopper, and that's a 10 stop neutral density filter and that's, that's going to allow me to get some really long exposures. So I'm going to stick my filter on. So I've got the 10 stop Lee filter on there and the red filter. That goes on the front. And then my cable release. It's quite important, if you're doing exposures longer than one minute, you need to put it into the lens. So you just screw that into the lens and you see a red mark will come out. That, that's ready then. And then on the lens, there's a, there's a button with a T on it. Make sure that's switched up. So that one's switched up. And then once the dark slides out and the film's ready, you'll press the shutter button and that will bring up the mirror at the back. And then to take the actual photo, you hold down the shutter for the amount of time that you want to, you want to take the image for. But crucially, at the end, when you release the button, it doesn't stop the exposure. So to stop the exposure, you have to switch the T back to its normal position. So I'm gonna try a shot here. What I'm hoping is the movement in the water sort of leads you round down towards the sea. And then a bit, a bit of movement in the sky not 100% sure in this composition, we're going to try it anyway. I'm going to set it up. I've got the 10 stop filter on there and also the red filter. And I'm going to give it an exposure time of 25 seconds. That's with a reciprocity failure. Fingers crossed, might turn out okay. So I set the camera up here. I like the fact the, the water moves across the foreground there with the long exposure and you get quite a bit of movement. Also like the stack of rocks there behind the water and with the lighthouse in the distance there as the focal point. And then I'm also hoping if the exposure is long enough that we'll have a bit of movement in the sky. And with that red filter, it should darken down that sky to give a nice contrast. Yeah, feeling pretty good about this one. Okay, so that's one roll of HP5 down. What I'm going to do actually is stick in a roll of Ilford Pan F50. And that then will enable me to get some even longer exposure times. So I'm going to stick one of those in. Ilford Pan F50, if I can find one. There we go. And hopefully I'll be able to get some exposure times well over a minute, possibly two minute mark. Okay, so I've come over to the actual harbour in Newlyn and I'm going to try a couple of long exposures here. Hoping the boats might have a little bit of movement in the boats and the sky, if I leave it long enough, should get some, some nice movement in that sky too.
So it's been a good day over here in Newland today. I've managed to shoot two rolls of film. I've shot one HP5 and one Pan F50. So that's 20 photos. I think I might have a few good ones in there. I'm not sure about all of them. Some of the compositions I wasn't too keen on, but pretty pleased in general. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head home, get them uh, developed, get them scanned into the computer and have a look. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.